Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Exciting day today because, as promised, I do have my next new team for you guys, which we will get into in just one second here. But our first match with that team today is going to be against Bricot, a random person offline. So yeah, um, there you can see my team on the left-hand side there. I use the term new loosely because all of these Pokemon are ones that I have used before. That was kind of the goal of uh, this team was to bring back a bunch of old favorites. And uh, this team does contain what I like to consider the big four of the Captain Beanard YouTube channel. Those are going to be the Scissor and the Gastrodon that have appeared in every single one of my battle series, as well as the Arcanine and the Gudra, which have appeared in all but one of my battle series. We also have the Jolteon, which has uh, appeared in a couple over the years, and then we actually have the Hawlucha, which is a Pokemon I've not used in quite a long time here. So um, really looking forward to using these guys again here on Scarlet and Violet. Looking at the opponent's team, it looks to be very... Uh, strong and well balanced so not a whole lot of time to decide what I want to lead with here um, but I think we're gonna go with the Gastrodon in this one could backfire but hopefully not and uh, yeah we'll go ahead and see how that works out and I have also changed the soundtrack once again here, um, mainly because OBS did an update and I just don't feel like messing with it anymore, can't get the proportions right. But anyway, uh, there she is, and she is going to go ahead and lead with the Meowskarada, which is definitely not good for me with the Gastrodon lead. So, um, I think we are going to go ahead and... Um, switch out right away. Uh, we don't want to get taken out with a grass move, so predicting that, we're just going to go ahead and come in with the Gudra. Uh, we do have Sap Zipper, so we can handle um, any grass attack this thing throws at us. So, um, there it is. Great to have Gudra back. I really missed it in BDSB, as uh, this thing is going to go for a flower trick. Protean is going to change it to a grass type, but uh, Sap Zipper, that is not going to hit me. It is just going to raise my physical attack, so uh, that is pretty nice for us. So, I don't expect uh, her to want to stay in on this matchup, so I think uh, we're just going to go ahead and fire off a Fire Blast. It should do some decent damage to most things on her team. She actually goes for the Play Rough, which is unfortunate. It's going to knock me down by about half. Um, we are going to hit her with the Fire Blast in return, and that will be enough to go ahead and one-shot that Meowskarata outright and knock her down to five. So uh, we did have to take a lot of damage on Gudra, but um, what can you do? So, um, we'll see what she wants to bring in in response. Eventually, we'll see. All right, there we go. It is going to be the Iron Dragon. So, um, what do I want to do to this thing is the question. Um, is it worth trying to switch Gudra at this point? Um, I think we probably have to leave Gudra in at this point. We are max HP with an Assault Vest, so we actually might be able to live an attack from this thing. So I'm just going to stay in and attempt to fire off a Draco Meteor here, as uh, she's going to go for a Dragon Pulse. And uh, we cannot take that, unfortunately, um, despite the uh, defensive investment. So that is going to suck. That's going to knock us down to 5. I should just say, take some Life Orb Recoil damage, so that might be why. Um, but yeah, so now the only good news is we are going to get a switch in on this thing. Um, what are we going to want to bring in here to face the Hydreigon is the question. Um, we know it's Life Orb, so it can change up moves. Um, we could try to catch it off guard with, a, with our Jolteon. Hmm, this is a tough call, actually. Um... Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to do that. We're going to try to catch her off guard with our Terra Ice. So we're going to come in with that. And let's see here. Yeah, she doesn't really have a great switch into Jolteon. Um, so yeah, we're going to screw it. We're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and go Terra Ice. And we're going to fire off the uh, Terra Blast Ice and see how that works out. And we will see what she wants to do here. 
Alright, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and terastalize the Jolteon. And we're going to go ahead and become a pure ice type. Um, not great defensively, but it does give us that ice terror blast, which is gives this thing incredible coverage. Uh, we do outspeed this thing. We are going to go for the terror blast ice here. And we are going to go ahead and nail this Hydreigon, and that is going to be enough to go ahead and take that thing out, knocking her down to four, which is incredible for us. There are max special attack choice specs as well, so that's definitely overkill, I think. But um, now she's going to go ahead and come in with full Corona, which is unfortunate. Um, we can't really do much of anything to this thing since we are choice specs locked in, so um, we're going to have to switch and... Um, what do we want to bring in on this thing is the question. Um, we'll go for the Arcane Nine, actually. I think that's probably the best, because this thing could be packing a grass move. We don't know yet. So um, I'm going to go ahead and come in with Arcane Nine. There it is. And we're going to get the Intimidate to cut this thing's attack. Not really going to matter, since it's going to be a special attacker. It's going to go for a heat wave here, which is going to do a little bit of chip to us. Not too much, though. Um, which is nice. So I think, um, what do we want to do here? We don't really want to make any risky predictions uh, at this point since we are ahead. So I say we just uh, stay and go for a nice uh, choice band flare blitz here as uh, she's not going to want to stay in on this matchup and she's going to switch the Volcarona out and come in with the Palafin. So uh, we are going to hit this thing with a max attack choice band and flare blitz and that is going to do a lot of damage knocking this thing down uh, to about a third, which is obviously great for us. We do take some recoil damage there. Now, I think this thing actually does outspeed us if it is speed invested, because we are not, and I don't really want to lose our canine here, even though another one could take it out. I don't want to take that risk, so uh, we have a perfectly good switch in in the Gastrodon, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So, there it is. And she is going to go for the flip turn, so that is great for us. Uh, not going to hurt us thanks to the storm drain. It is going to give us a special attack increase, which is, of course, great for us. So um, this turn, I don't expect her to want to stay in on this matchup, um, but what is she going to want to switch into is the question. Um, not 100% sure there, but I say the best play here is to just go for the earth power, so that's what we're going to do and we'll see what she wants to do here. Usually these things are choice, so yeah, indeed she is going to go for the switch there, so um, that thing's going to go out, going to get zero to hero activated. Going to come in with the scissor, and uh, we are going to go ahead and hit this thing with a plus one earth power, max special attack, and that is nearly going to take the scissor out. It does just barely survive in the red, but that's pretty incredible for us, so um, I say there's no reason not to just go for another Earth Power, so that's exactly what we're going to do as this thing does outspeed, hit us with the X Scissor, does take us down by a little less than half, but we do survive, go for the next Earth Power, and that will be more than enough to finish that Scissor off, knocking her down to, I believe, 3, so that is pretty nice for us as we do get some HP back with the leftovers here. So, we'll see what she wants to bring in in response. And it is going to be the um, Fluttermane. So, yeah, definitely um, a few banned Pokemon in this game, but kind of is what it is. Booster Energy Protosynthesis going to give this thing a special attack increase, which is, of course, not great. Um, I don't really see a point in switching right now. We have to try and hit this thing hard, I think. So um, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go... Um, I guess it doesn't matter, but we're going to go Earth Power again. As uh, this thing does outspeed us, it is going to go for a Shadow Ball. And um, we do hang on with 28 HP in the red, which is incredible. We get an Earth Power, which is going to knock this thing a little below half, which is great. Um, we are going to get some HP back with the leftovers. Unfortunately, we can't take another one of those attacks, but um, that's okay. We're just going to stay and click Earth Power again, as this thing is going to go for that Shadow Ball. And that will obviously be more than enough to finish us off and uh, knock us down to four, but that's okay. Uh, the Gastron definitely did what it needed to do, getting some good damage on this thing. So um, I think at this point we are going to go ahead and, you know what, I think it's time uh, to go ahead and come in with 
the Hall Lucha, actually, because we have not used Hall Lucha in a very, very long time. It's been like five, six years since we've used this thing, so it's time to bring it in and uh, have a little bit of a plan here. We are focused Sash, so we know we can survive any attack. This thing goes for, um, I think it should outspeed us. Um, so we could play the dangerous game here of um, going for a swords dance. Um, but you know what, an acrobatics might take it out anyway afterwards. So um, yeah, we're just gonna go for the acrobatics. We don't wanna play the dangerous game just yet. So this thing is gonna Dazzling Gleam. That is gonna knock us all the way down to the Focus Sash, but we do survive, of course, because of it. And that is going to do two things for us. Uh, first, it is going to double the power of our acrobatics, which uh, we do get a crit there. I don't think that mattered at all we'd, since we are max attack, but I was going to take the Flutter main out, knocking her down to two. But it also activates our Unburdened ability, which is going to double our speed as well. So that is the uh, the plan with the Halucha here. So Halucha, though it is at one HP, is fully set up at this point, which is incredible. Um, so now she's going to go ahead and come in with the Volcarona. And um, if she doesn't know about Unburden, she is about to find out, because um, we're just going to go ahead and go for the Acrobatics again. We do outspeed, of course, and uh, an Acrobatics is going to take care of the Volcarona one-shotting it, which is incredible, knocking her down to just one Pokemon. So, um, yeah, now her last Pokemon is going to be that Palafin, which she is going to come in with. It does have the Zero to Hero activated. Uh, transforming into hero mode. Um, so yeah, since it is our last one, no reason not to just go ahead and uh, stay in here. We're just going to um, go for acrobatics one more time here as uh, she's not packing the priority, so we are just going to go ahead and take this thing out with one more acrobatics, and that is going to be game. So Hall Lucha uh, stretching its wings after uh, a long time away here. We are going to get a 4-0 victory there over um, the opponent. But that was a pretty good match, actually. Pretty fun one, actually. Um, we can go ahead and turn the music off, of course. Um, so, yeah. Just going to go ahead and leave, of course. So that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.